he went, he went on late nights when I'm a few too many red wines and two and I'm destroyed. I'll force myself to take my cat eye liner and moisturize my skin. If I can get into the habit, not only will your skin feel great, but you will also be more likely to translate the bat me first attitude to other parts of your life. Pick up a good read. Oh yeah, you're doing it. Our brain is always on. Our eyes are always glued to a screen. Give the screen a rest each night so that your brain can be mentally relaxed from drifting off to sleep. Feeling sexy? One is a great option, but if you've ever read an erotic novel, babe let, me, <laughs> babe, let me tell you, get ready to have an amazing solo orgasm. Sexual play can be more than rolling around with a partner. Sex toys can also be a real fun part of a stellar nightmare time re ritual. Leaving a vibrator or lubricant condoms by the bed is an excellent reminder that you deserve pleasure. More on this in chapter four. Orgasms help you sleep, so consider incorporating sexy time with your erotica and or toys before bed. How to curate your space. Create a sanctuary. If we charge the way we charge our phones, we're helping energetic creatures without a grumpy bone in our bodies. But that's not how it works. In fact, we are constantly pushing the limits of our exhaustion. Bedtime is for relaxation and comfort, and it's a great opportunity to make your bedroom the most calming, cool, chill room for the best rest of your life. Color, sense, and low lighting are all great options. Self-care colors. What's your favorite color? Incorporate it whenever you can, whether that means repainting your bedroom walls or simply adding a few accessories. Your bathroom is a great place to highlight some of your favorite colors. My toothbrush is pink, my hairbrush is pink, my fat, my face masks are pink. Pink makes me feel really good and playful and it helps me start and end my day. Splash, take two, new personal scent, find your signature scent or scents and use it through our space via a candle, a diffuser or incense, easy on your body too with potent lotions, perfumes or bubble bath. You can have dumpster scents for different rooms, different modes. Or different times of day, a scent can bring back memories, make you feel sexier, or simply be a reminder of who the heck you are. Mine is rose. Have fun with it. Calming bed sheets. Look for dark, soft bed sheets. These natural fibers like eucalyptus or bamboo to help you ease into the dreamland. We're all glued to our screens. I'm guilty of this. The lights in the bedroom can create a more serene sleeping experience and make us feel less tired in the morning. Sex toy storage. Sex toys often encumber or often cumbersome to store. Create a little space in your closet to hang harnesses, collars, and handcuffs so you can always see what's available. And you remind yourself that you're a mad sexy being every time you look for a pair of socks. Or, or, or give your eyes some place to rest. Enjoy something soothing colors or relaxing scene. Rituals can't sell it all. Sadly not, none of us live in a world where we can wake up, drink $10 celery juice, and start like work, start working when we feel like it. Most of us have more than one job and we don't have the luxury or leisure to kick back and let the world present its best self to us. Just acknowledge this right now so we can remember that things are difficult. We've been thrown quite the hand. There's no way for us to walk to the other side of culture is just without feeling overwhelmed by the universal state of affairs. We don't need to give ourselves some grace and kindness. Perfection doesn't allow us to grow and growth isn't messy. Self-care practices can't solve everything, but creating a foundation of self-love, be a pleasure, soul days, or positive ritual will help us navigate whatever the world throws our way. Orgasms aren't for you, you only can have an orgasm. Orgasms are connected to partner relationships. Nor are they relying on anyone besides yourself. A lot of our hunted hesitancy about being a lot of experience, touch, pleasure, sex, and orgasms is deeper rooted in how we've been taught to view sex in our bodies. No matter your relationship status, you should be having amazing orgasms on a regular basis. It's good for your mental and physical health and for your sex life. Physically remove sexual shame with a ritual. Grab a piece or write down all the items you feel sexual shame over, such as the appearance of a specific body part, the sounds you make when having sex, a fetish, fantasy or desire or sire, 
Sire makes me sad. God damn it. <laughs> Perhaps you feel shame over things because society made you feel that way, or perhaps a former lover responded negatively to these things when you reveal this part of yourself to them. Be honest with yourself, no one else will see this. It might be difficult to even conjure the words, and that's okay, dear reader. When you're done, take your piece of paper in the bathroom, light a candle, shut out the lights, and look at yourself in the mirror. Hold the pe paper and repeat, I will not feel shame because of the item on this list. Repeat this five times over, many times feels good to you. Run the water from the sink, light the paper with the candle, let the paper burn. So it's such in some of the written words, not all words. You don't want to burn your house yourself or start a house fire. Be safe in your ritual. Place the paper under the running water and put out the flames. Grab some of the wet ashes and put them in the toilet. <laughs> Pour the lim liquid candle wax into the toilet over the ashes. Say the phrase one more time and flush. Sometimes the physical move is all it takes. It takes time to rage, to release, finish your feelings of shame. Repeat as needed. Masturbation is great as a guide to self-love and great sex. If you're reading this book, it's safe to assume that you're one of the following human beings in, in this world. Person with a deep need to update their body image. A lovely human who wants to get in more touch with their own body and sexual pleasure. A gorgeous being who's looking to understand their partner play and enhance their sex life. A coffee table book picker up or good to see you here. A hot lover who is deeply supportive. No matter what you are or what your intentions are being here, I'm happy you've made it this far. If you move to this book, I've asked you to be introspective, reflect, and use what you've learned to connect with your body and the pleasure you see. Now we're gonna get physical, more physical than writing down pleasure, more physical than standing in front of the mirror and accepting our bodies. I would argue that it is incredibly physical when you take and connect how connected our brains and bodies are. Today I'm asking you to pleasure yourself sexually and of course if you can sing. Masturbation helps you feel more positive about your body. Not only does masturbation raise a crazy amount of dopamine, endorphins, and oxytocin, oxytocin, love, and bonding hormones, it's also the best way to explore your body and get to know the types of touch that you do and don't enjoy. For example, if you ever touch your genitalia and feel it way too sensitive, almost painful, great. I mean, not great. Not great to feel pain when you don't want it. But now you know where you don't want to be touched. Note the masturbation can be more challenging for folks with body dysphoria. Whether that's not that's true for you, too, for you. Maybe gentle touching just isn't going to feel good for you. <laughs> Consider this the human body is covered in nerve endings, and pleasure can be derived from countless body parts, depending on how they're touched. The chest, armpits, inner thighs, belly, neck are all an excellent place to explore this journey. All right, it's splash, take five. Soul play practices. The next activities are designed to get you moving, playing and touching yourself in a way that makes you feel good. I, of course, can't tell what genitalia you have because I'm not a mind reader. So you move on and stroke and rub and caress the way that works for you. Get in the mood with a non-sexual activity. Make a list, like some candles, make an incredible dinner for yourself. <laughs> Take a hot shower, rub your feet, oil up your body with the hottest, most comfortable outfit, you know. The thing about masturbation is that it holds the seat of the taboo table in popular culture. And I'm gonna say this, if you're Ted, if you're Ted Johnson and you're trying to hijack me, I'm Jeff Koshell, and I'm gonna do the glider. I will do the... Jam, I'll do milk to silk and risk to risk electro, like Ontario electro, like Erie electro, like Supreme electro, like Huron electro, like Michigan electro, and Arbor electro, East Lansing electro, New Mexico, Albuquerque electro, Santa Fe electro, I'm Jeffrey Kevin Koshiel, not Ted Johnson, and I'm doing Blake Blossom Splash. 
Cagnolin Carter Splash, Tori Black the Splash, and Kylie Page the Splash. I'm thinking about my observation of the whole to see the taboo table in popular culture. <laughs> God damn it. The career move with day to day activities normalizes soul play. So you begin without judgment and open up the possibility of exploration to arousal and, and pleasure. Task create a playlist with all the tunes you find calming or sexy and play it when you feel particularly interested. Sad. All right, I gotta go.